As you can see, I've kind of rejigged the studio behind us and added some extra shelving. So if one of them falls down and knocks me out while I'm recording, you know exactly why. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have a subscriber recommended product to review. This recommendation comes from Resin Ace, which is a channel here on YouTube and they do loads of different kinds of resin tutorials and craft ideas and everything so definitely check it out if you're interested in resin craft. Especially if you're interested in informative content which you're not going to find here. <laughs> so yeah, they recommended this product here, which is Dip It Fantasy Film. And I'm going to put resin in kind of quotation marks because I think it's some sort of resin craft thing. But I've never heard of it before and I'm very familiar with resin. But what we'll do first is we'll have a quick look online just to see if there's any other information on it. But before we do that, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon down below so you never miss an upload. Right, if you're familiar with kind of the toy reviews I do and the craft reviews I do, you'll know that I usually go on Amazon for pretty much everything that I buy. Not sponsored or anything like that, it's just kind of my preferred place to buy stuff. But I had a search and tried to find this Dip It Fantasy film on Amazon and I couldn't find it anywhere. The only place I could find it is eBay and some other kind of craft sites. So it's quite a difficult product to kind of get hold of. So this is it here and it seems like it's essentially resin. But I don't know whether it is resin, I don't understand. Very confusing, I'm quite intrigued by it, but I'm apprehensive as well. And there are no commercials or anything, I've already checked. I spent $24.99, which I'm not sure whether that's a good price or a bad price. I'll have to tell you at the end once I've tried it out. So it says here that Fantasy Film is a liquid acrylic resin. Okay, so it's not a polyester and it's not an epoxy, it's an acrylic. It's available in various colours and two distinct types, glass and porcelain. I think I bought the glass one. It is excellent for making flowers. Mobiles? Oh, like mobiles. Jewelry, stained glass effects, etc. Providing everything that you need to complete fantasy film, flowers, mobiles, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So the reason why I kind of question the resin aspect of it is because usually with resin you have to add a catalyst in with it so that it actually hardens. It usually has a chemical process and that's what causes the resin to go from a liquid to a solid. You do that for both epoxy and polyester. You don't do it for UV resin because it sets under obviously UV rays. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really confused about what kind of resin this is. It says it's an acrylic resin, but still I thought it would have to be mixed with something. So I think the best thing to do is to open it up and we'll see what this is about. Right, okay, so straight away, I can tell you that this looks like something from maybe the 80s, early 90s. It looks absolutely ancient. It looks as if I've kind of time traveled and picked this up out of a completely different era. <laughs> I don't know whether this is still in kind of production or anything like that, so I don't know whether this is actually from the time when these existed or unless this is like a, a new product. Like if this is new, someone really needs to go to whoever makes Dip It Fantasy Film and tell them to redesign the packaging because it's awful. Oh my god, it's even, it's even worse than I thought. It's not even a printed box, it's a box with like stickers stuck onto it. I used to do graphics at GCSE level and we did a bit of CAD and design and packaging and stuff like that. And it kind of reminds me of that. That's how bad it is. Like the quality of it is shit. <sighs> oh, but it's got some pictures, like a little collage on the front of what you can make. And there's a very terrifying flower with like, <laughs> like a doll's head on top of it. What have I bought? What, what, what have you recommended to his resonates? I don't know. I think this is either going to be like fantastically great or it's going to be the worst thing I've ever, ever bought. Right. Okay. So it says create your own exciting shapes, bend the wire to an outline shape, dip it into the ready to use colored resin, remove leave to dry and twist several shapes together. So we've got an instruction booklet. A bit of Styrene there. Okay, we've got glitter for some reason. Some pipe cleaners. Are they called pipe cleaners? Yeah, they are. Some tape. Some fake berries. <laughs> some of the wire that you use to kind of mold the shapes. And then we have these colours. So we've got ice blue, ruby red. They kind of look like they've been opened as well because they've got the colours on the outside. Hmm. Some yellow and chartreuse. Oh, green. 
Right, and that's all that's inside. I'm gonna read this instruction booklet just to see, because I don't know what, I, I kind of understand a little bit of what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm just gonna kind of double check. I'm just reading the do's and don'ts on here, and it says, do replace the lid tightly when not in use, do ensure adequate ventilation, do supervise children, do not smoke or use near an open flame, do not take internally. <laughs> So don't eat it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, what is today? What is today? Oh my god, no! You know that freaky doll head thing? They actually explain it in here. So it says dolls, for example, see box lid, are made by placing successive rows of slightly curved petals up a polystyrene cone. <laughs> Finish with a doll's head. Christmas trees can be made in the same manner. You're saying that's a doll? It looks terrifying! <laughs> oh, they have a website! For more inspiration, demonstrations, and ideas, Crystalline Crafts. It's not quite at UK as well, so it's a UK website. And it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I'm not surprised! I'm not gonna go for their kind of flower ideas, I'm just gonna kind of have fun with it and try my own thing. I assume basically what you do is you create a surface with the wire, so that you've kind of got like maybe it's a circle or something, dip it in and that's supposed to create like a film of resin and the resin's just supposed to harden on its own. I'm just going to create some flower petals, quite abstract. And again, you just kind of twist it like this, I think. And I might try a 3D flower and I might try like a 2D kind of flat flower, if this works at all. And also let me know down in the comments if you've actually ever used this product before, because I've definitely never ever heard of it. Obviously resin is, has used it before, but yeah, it's just, it seems strange. And I've got years of practice in resin as well. It's not like I'm a newbie or anything like that. I know what resin is and I know how to use it. So I'm surprised I've never heard of this before. Right, so basically I've got all my loops here and I'm gonna dip these into the colored resins and then you put them into here and wait for them to dry. Dry or set or something, I'm not sure. And yeah, like look at all of these tins. They've all got kind of the outside parts of the resin on, which makes me think that they've already been opened. And I'm not sure whether that's kind of a common thing with this fantasy film kit, or whether it's because I bought it on eBay. It's still wet, so that's good. I was worried that it was going to be um, all dried up, because I thought I was buying something from like the 70s. It smells like acetone. Dip white into liquid and pull out vertically, turning upwards so that excess runs down the stem. Wipe excess off edge of can. Stand in polystyrene until dry. Replace lid after use. To obtain a harder finish, dip your creation into strengthener. Allow to dry before rearrange and use special thinners if liquid becomes thick. What is this stuff? I don't know whether this is a resin. I'm not sure what this is. So I've got my polystyrene there and apparently I dip this in. What the hell is this? I'll put it in the polystyrene, but this is strange stuff this. Right, so that just stays there and I wait for that to dry. It's kind of weird, you would expect it just to all run off, but it doesn't, it kind of clings to the thing. I just, I don't know what to think of it. I really don't know what to think of it. And obviously you can see that I haven't mixed it with anything. It's You just dip it straight into these kind of pre-made tins and then leave them to set. So hang on, I'll show you what I've done. So I've left them like this and you just wait for them to dry. And as you can see, kind of, it hasn't dripped everywhere. It's stayed where it's supposed to. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know whether anyone remembers them when you were younger and you could make these bubbles out of this like, kind of squidgy stuff and it would be like almost like a hard bubble but obviously you'd be able to squish it and stuff. I don't, I don't really know what it's called or anything but it's just really reminding us of that. I'm gonna do some more maybe 3D petals. I'll try and make like a 3D flower. Yeah I just had like a quick google just to see what acrylic resin is. It says that acrylic resins are a group of related thermoplastic or thermosetting plastic substances derived from acrylic acid 
methacrylic acid or other related compounds and apparently it's a common ingredient in latex paint it just goes against everything that i know about resin and the fact that it smells like acetone as well freaks me out right so i've created 10 smaller petals and i'm hoping obviously this will make kind of a more 3d flower as well with the resin it's a very thick kind of liquid it's very difficult to explain but i don't think you'd be able to cast with this resin i wouldn't have thought so anyway i'd be very surprised if you could right okay so i've finished dipping all of them and they're just kind of set aside, drying, setting. I don't know what they're doing. And to be fair, it was a very easy process. It was really easy to do. So it wasn't difficult, but I'm very curious to see if it actually dries, if it actually sets and how hard it'll set. I think I just need to wait about 20 minutes or so. So I'll just sit here and wait 20 minutes and then we can make some flowers. Right, okay, I'm back. And I didn't just sit here for half an hour or however long. I actually had my lunch. A tuna sandwich, which was delicious. Now these have all set. The finished quality is, it's strange. Everything about this product is strange. It's firm, but it's not, it's very light. It's not as kind of rigid as I thought it was going to be. It's more like, kind of like a, like a plastic wrapping, like a cling film or some sort of packaging or something. It's very unusual. The color's really good though. The color's very pigmented. It's strong, but I think you could quite easily rip it if you wanted to. It's not like massively strong. I question whether it's resin. Obviously it says that it is resin, so I have to say that it is, but it doesn't have the same properties as it. It's a lot more flexible. It feels a lot weaker and it's a lot lighter, whereas they're all the properties that you wouldn't associate with resin, or normal casting resin anyway, polyester or epoxy. But we'll assemble our flowers and see how they turn out. So I think I'm just gonna take my wire and just kind of wrap it all together so I get kind of a flat shape. <laughs> right, okay, so we have this. <laughs> ah, I don't know what this is. It's supposed to be like a little flower. I might put it on the wall somewhere at some point. Try and make a 3D one. And the good thing about having like all these wire bases that you use to kind of dip it in is that when it comes to assembling things, it's very flexible and it doesn't have a tacky surface or anything like that. Oh, that's kind of nice. Like a little 3D flower. And yeah, you can just kind of twist and bend all of these around to however you want. Could even make a nice brooch. No? <laughs> I do like it though. I'm not mad at it. Right, so I think that's pretty much this kind of fantasy dip, what's it called? <laughs> right, so I think that's it for this dip it fantasy film. And there's a little bit of a closer look at what these kind of look like. Whether you can see them or not, I don't know. And it's not bad, it's just strange. I struggle to call it resin because of what I'm familiar with. It feels more plasticky and cling filmy, which I suppose is why it's called, um, what's it called? <laughs> dip it fantasy film, because Basically, it creates a plastic film over the top of kind of hollow surfaces. So I don't hate the product. I do think it's actually quite a good product. It's just very unusual. And whoever created the branding for this and the kind of design and everything needs firing because this is awful. You need to step your game up. The package and the design is hideous. But the kind of resin parts themselves and the ideas behind it and what you could actually make with it is quite interesting. It's it is decent, I think it is worth the money. It would be good if you had a very specific idea of what you wanted. Will I be using Dip It Fantasy Film? Is it called Dip It Fantasy Film? It is. I don't even know the name of the product. <laughs> Will I be using Dip It Fantasy Film again in the future? I don't think so. I might, like if, if there's a project that I have that calls for something like this, then yes, I could definitely see us using it again. Does it kind of inspire me to make something out of this just specifically because I've used it? No. And if you like making kind of little flowers and stuff and you have a bit more time on your hands, I can imagine you could create some quite cool things. Just please don't create these f doll heads. Do not create them. They're hideous. They're terrifying. But yes, thank you to Resonase for recommending this product. It was definitely unusual and I actually had a lot of fun using it and you didn't troll us too hard. But if you have any other creative craft ideas or craft projects or kits or anything like that, then leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to try and get hold of them or try and recreate them on the channel. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye!